to do something that's kind of bugging me. And that is the shadow shape. Shadow color is um, too dark for what it would be. And it's just sort of not reading how I want it to. So what I'm going to do is just come back on this whole shape with some... This is, well, greenish. No, it's just mostly clear water. Um, so I'm going to come back, do a little defining of edges, as well as just sort of scrub out some color, and then move it around the table in general. So that'll make it so... The, sh the shadow value, it wasn't believable with as white as the, uh, the table was and as dark as the shadow was. It was too much of a value difference. Um, and this will also allow me to do um, another kind of cool thing, dressing this whole shape. So some of this um, gray from is, is getting lifted up as I agitate it. I want to make sure that some of that color gets everywhere on the table so it still reads as, as a continuous unit, if you will. That got kind of weird down there, but I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Uh, what I was talking about is um, is kind of what I was doing there. And excuse me. I'm back. I'm getting my. Um, this is the number four, um, one of the number four synthetics that I have. And I think like we've talked about, it's, I, I do like that number four that I was sh telling you about. And I was joking a little bit about cheating. But um, this is not scrubbing, this is not scrubbing a, a bunch. But I'm trying to just kind of loosen up this edge here, the edge where the shadow meets the table. The way that cast shadows work is very cool in that the edge will get gradually softer and softer the further away it moves the shadow is from from the light source that's creating the strong cast shadow at the beginning. So this line would, would get progressively more blurry. It's not doing it a bunch, but that's okay. I, in fact, I might um, just bring this is a little bit of indigo. It's a little too dark. And clean up this edge, the part where I'm, and the avocado where I'm painting up against is dry. The part on the table is not, so that won't hold such a crisp edge, but that's okay. I think I like saying that more and more. That's okay. Is that okay? <laughs> Little areas, skinny shapes like this, uh, like the, the avocado skin, which I'm just sort of taking artistic license with imagining it being sort of white 
ish lighter that sort of light um, see I did it again do as I say This is a little bit tricky if you're thinking to yourself, hey, wait a second. He just wet down the shadow shape, but he's not addressing the whole table. Wait a second. I thought if you came back in, you had to address the whole shape. Well, yes and no. Especially, it was just drying up here, so I introduced just a little bit more water in that area, and that sort of took care of really kind of the whole shape. I'm doing a lot of looking at it sideways just to be able to tell. And since I brought in that water and sort of shoved, was um, trying to shift some of the color, it got everything just a little bit lighter in general. Once again, easy for me to um, get to the place of officially fussing too much. You'll have to um, find your balance. I kind of want to clean up this part of the skin, but I'm going to let that dry. <laughs> 